Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. So in today's video, we are going to see that how to load data from Azure Data Lake Gen 2 to Snowflake and we are going to use for that Azure Synapse Analytics. So Azure Data Lake uh, is an offering where you can put all of the big data related files and data into that one. So Snowflake is a data warehousing solution is widely used nowadays. So if you have a scenario where we have to integrate Azure Data Lake to Snowflake, maybe some data is coming by some system into Azure Data Lake Gen 2 and you want to push the data to Snowflake, so either you can go for Azure Data Factory to push that one, either you can use that Azure Synapse Analytics also. And also for today's demo, we are going to see that how we can work with all these three technologies, Azure Data Lake Gen 2, Azure Synapse Analytics and Snowflake. Okay, so let's move to our Azure Data Lake Gen 2 where we have one file, uh, CSV file. So in that CSV file, we have details regarding COVID cases. So let's go quickly. This is our Synapse instance for this demo. And in this Synapse instance, there is a data lake storage gen2 is already connected to its primary and there is already a file called ECDC COVID cases. If you want to see that what is that file contains, what this data contains, let's run this one. Uh, I'm going to, because I know that header row is there, I'm marking that one. So if I am able to see this one, uh, so once this details has been done quickly, then we can see the data is there that, okay, date reported, which day for that one month, year, cases, dates, and countries and other things. So, so CSV contains this kind of details. Now we know that we have a CSV with data into Azure Data Lake. In other case, if we go into our Snowflake instance, this is our Snowflake instance where we have a DB and we have a schema created and in that schema there is a COVID cases table and if we see that details about a table we have created for demo purpose and uh, there is no data right now. Let's move ahead to our uh, Snaps Analytics account and now we are going to create a uh, integration pipelines and other things for doing that one but before we create the pipeline let's go to manage section where we are going to create link services so our data lake is primary so it is attached right now if we see the test connection for this data lake gen 2 that is already there so we do not have to create that one let's create for snowflake and when we create for a snowflake connection we have to provide some more details right so let's go and grab these details and this is our account name and then we have to provide where is the location for this one so this is our location and we have to provide username for this one so how to when we created this instance we have given this username we can see that how to create the username and other things and so always we must use to key vault but let's for this demo i am using only putting that pass password here let me grab warehouse name from our snowflake instance so if i i will go grab these details and let's go it here and let's test connection Okay, let's see what is failing. Maybe I have uh, typed something wrong. Maybe. Okay, uh, so yeah, there is a mistake in typing. So let me get, put this one. Test connection is done. Let's create this one. Okay, now let's go to our uh, integrate section where we are going to create a pipeline. And in pipeline, it is similar to so it is very much similar to Azure Data Factory. Now I'm going to drag and drop copy data pipeline and let's put some details. Snowflake only. And then let's go into source section and source data set we have not created. Let's create a source data set and it will be data lake 
data lake gen2 so i will go ahead and create this one and our data is into delimited text we can choose that one okay covid passage lake let's put that and we are going to use default storage and yeah first row is header so let's bring our our data where is the data so we can go and this is that thing so it all properly came that what is the file path container name and other things what is that path everything is coming so let's click in okay so this is our source data set if i preview the data then i should be able to see something right yeah so this data is coming fine let's go into sync sync we do not have uh, right now anything created for snowflake we have this one uh, we created source database this is where listed let's create a snowflake sync data set and we are going to create this one snowflake snowflake table let's put that one link service we created so let's go use this link service now it is going to connect and loading all the table in that uh, database which provided all this is coming we are going to put the test schema dot covid cases that okay so if i go into this one it will not work as it is so let let me put this one and then we can fix that one what is the issue is coming so so copy data to snowflake from lake directly is not supported we have to put a stage between that one so it always support uh, directly supported from blob storage uh, to snowflake not from this one so let let me go ahead and fix this issue and to fix that issue we have to enable that staging and when we enable the staging we need to use one blob storage as a stage so we do not have right now any blob so let me create quickly blob storage and then we can go and say that stage blob connection okay. and then we are going to use via uh, sas uri it is not going to work by all the details because that is how architecture is done for this one so let's grab our uh, one blob account which we have already for demo so we are going to get that sas uri so let's let me go into blob service and let's grab the sas uri token let's put all these details for now and let me generate this one and we can have this uri and let me put sas url okay let's test connection test connection is successful so let's create this link service and let's uh, now we have to give a path for that one where it is going to put a stage use that one instead so we have already a stage you can see that how we created into previous video if you want to go in the details and then that's all we have to do right now right let, let me publish this one and let's try to run this one So right now, if you go into our Snowflake instance and if we go into our table, we do not have anything, right? We do not have any data into right now. Let's see that one. Uh, now, once it is published, then we can go ahead and trigger this one. So it is published right now. Let's go ahead and trigger and see that what is happening right now. So let's go to monitor section. Yeah, it is in progress right now child activity is just um, queued right now so it will take some time to pick that one and it will try to run so let's see so right right now it is coming as a progress so it is failed it is failed for which region let's see that one So number of column is mismatched between these two tables. So let's let's go ahead and fix that one. Let's do mapping. Okay.
because this name is wrong it was not able to take that one let's fix this one let's publish that one because if there is no corresponding same name if you see this one that that was dates and this table has that so it was not able to match that one so we explicitly did this one right now let's go ahead and rerun again So before rerunning also, if we go into a snow flag and see that one, if any data is came or not. So let's see. There is no data because it failed in eventually. So let me trigger one more time. And let's go for monitor section. Let's see this time. It is still in progress now. So it is in progress. We see the details for that looking okay, is in progress. So it is going to pull the data from Gen2 uh, to blob storage and then blob to Snowflake. So how many rows are there? 61,900 rows are there. So it is doing that one right now. Let's see. So, so it is saying succeeded. Let's go and see this one. It is going to succeed in, yeah, it is now succeeded. We can go and see that this time this pipeline got succeeded. Now we can go and see that there is data or not this in table. Yeah, we can see the data as well. So this is what I wanted to cover in this demo. In next video, we are going to do just opposite. We, we have this now data into COVID cases. If there is a scenario that we have to pull this one to data like Gen2, that, that we are going to do. And we are going to utilize some of the uh, connection we created it here. Okay. Thank you.